Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the Official Arc Podcast number 255. My name is Coach Mistletoad, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Mr. Atlas. Please take it away, sir. Thank you, Coach Mistletoad, for the introduction. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the Arc Daily Podcast. This is Thursday, July 13th, the most important day in history of crypto, folks. If you haven't heard yet, then you're going to find out here right now. XRP has won its court case. It is official. XRP is not a security. This is all the way to the top, the courts, not the politics, not the powers that be abusing of their duties, abusing of their positions, abusing of the trust that's uh, been given to them. This is it, folks. This is something we've been waiting for a long time. Shout out to the XRP crew. Shows how when companies, when forward thinkers where developers in the space get together and they hire attorneys and they fight for their right to be able to do business in a proper way, not scamming, not hurting others, working hard, bringing technology to the forefront and representing themselves, standing up for themselves. They've been able to accomplish something that really trickles down to all of the other altcoins. Right off the back, we can understand that Ethereum also is not a security. Cardano, Polygon Matic, I mean, take a pick, including ArcFi, folks. ArcFi tokens, we have now the confirmation is not a security. One of the questions, one of the doubts that a lot of potential investors have when they, when they come to DeFi is, is the same. How do we know that this is not going to turn out to be something that we're getting involved with that could potentially be illegal, that we could get into some trouble by investing, by being a part of a project or a pre-sale or an ICO or just to buying and selling a lot of fear has been created through this heinous debacle. But it almost feels that it had to happen. There had to be clarity. We've seen clarity happen over here in Europe. We want clarity to happen in America so that there's a clear line in the sand of of what is legal, what is not legal, how to go about the process. And now we understand can look at the blueprint of how they've done business and have clarity that you're able to transact, you're able to do business and that you're in a position to invest without fear, without worry, without doubt. So very, very happy. This brings a lot of clarity to so many folks around the world. So many investors, so many projects, the stigma, the, uh, attitude of of a lot of these uh, traditional finance or even, let's be clear, the the Bitcoin maxis pointing the finger saying, hey, that's illegal, that's a security, Uh, you know, trying to pump their their bags uh, because it has been said not in court, but just in the public court of opinion of the SEC, FTC, they consider Bitcoin is not a security. Well, my friends, wake up, all coins are also not a security and that's something to celebrate. That's something to be joyous about and uh, a turning point. I think there's going to be a a clearly defined pre XRP win and post XRP win. We're seeing the Bitcoin dominance also lower a God candle showing up on the XRP chart. (laughs) 
And you got to give it to him. He missed out on the last bull run dealing with this mess. And uh, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to step up. And they've done it in great fashion, great style, and fairness. So uh, with that, let's uh, see. We're, we're still having an issue here with the button for our stats, but I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, read that out for you folks here. Okay, let's take a quick look, and then we're going to have Brett Nordine come in. But what a fantastic day. We're seeing 5,531 total Arc Vault accounts, 108,551 BUSD on PancakeSwap. ILC reserves, 125,716 BUSD. Arc price, 31 cents. Spark price pool, 777.38 ARC. And folks, that is a street value of 240.99 BUSD. And today here live, we will find the 278th Spark Prize winner. And of course, 10% of the pot goes to the MVP for the day. And their wallet ends in A342. Shout out, A342 for putting in the work. You have been selected. You have won. Now it's just a matter of uh, releasing the spark, which is always random. With that, we're going to turn it over to our good friend, Brett Nordine. Check in with him. You know, a lot of work, great work happening. We uh, love to hear all about it here. How you doing? Great. I mean, huge, huge <laughs> win. Huge win for crypto today. That was That was amazing to see. I used to trade XRP quite a bit. I held a lot for a long time. Uh, really before I got in the passive income game. Um, I still hold, I, I hold a nice bag of XLM. I actually sold half of my bag today uh, with the price appreciation. Um, the, I think the the short-term issue is those tokens just have bad tokenomics. And until we really hit the utility bull run, we're not going to see a sustained price level. Um, so, you know, I shed some XLM today, take some profits off the table. Obviously right now, that's a great thing to do. I think we still probably have some, you know, macroeconomic storms to ride out. Uh, but definitely poised for the next utility bull run with clarity, uh, with a clear path to market and utility for uh, XRP. Now we can open it to institutions, to exchanges, and all the things that we had going for us before. So, you know, we're at, I think, a $1.3 trillion market right now. We could easily, you know, exceed where we were prior to this last bull run and, uh, and you know, way outpace it with institutions coming in with Bitcoin ETF. So. Yeah, it's an exciting time. So, yeah, great to see that. I think a pivot point in the market. Um, I don't think we're out of the woods yet this year, uh, just with inflation and interest rates and everything else. Liquidity has to really flow back into the market, and it's got to come from somewhere. And I think it's going to come from the institutions that lead that. Um, and then retail will follow as usual. Uh, the FOMO is real. <laughs> uh, but on the uh, the ARC front, uh, Alex is knee deep in Terra. So we've just been going back and forth on that today. I know you spent quite a bit of time on that with him as well. And uh, I'm being ready here after the podcast and ship those cards out to our pack and chip printer uh, for the metal cards as well as packaging of our Terra cards. That's plastic metals. Uh, we touched on that before, but uh, we're going to have a plastic for the car, which will be the uh, the entry level, the inexpensive card. Uh, the black metal card will be slightly more, and we're going to have exclusive cards that the same price black metal card, but that will be only for NFT holders. Um, and that one's going to be a really cool uh, brushed metal um, that we'll have pictures of and stuff shortly. So, yeah, excited about that, and um, that project's moving along quite nicely. We're hoping within a couple of weeks we can start issuing cards um, but obviously, there's shipping time and things involved. So uh, we'll at least be testing. I've held back a few cards for testing on our end so that we can get through that process and make sure everything works perfectly. Obviously, <laughs> with the physical card, it's a little harder than the virtual card. Um, so we have to have live samples. Uh, but we'll put that together and, and make that happen before we get uh, the uh, the rest of the community involved. Um, yeah, and you mentioned the marketing side of things. Um, you know, we realize that we've got to tap into a much broader audience. Uh, we had a great discussion today with a major influencer uh, that's tapped into markets that we have no probably exposure to right now, uh, which is huge. And, you know, leading with our utilities, we understand that this group or crowd that's in Web 2.0, Moving over to crypto, they're going to need these tools, and uh, everybody, you know, will need the privacy tools, uh, whether you're in crypto or not. So those have universal appeal, and then obviously the on and off ramps have people 
that are getting involved in crypto or want to get involved in crypto. They have mass appeal for that market. Uh, and then obviously the yield products uh, will, will quickly follow. So yeah, I think we're going to uh, have some opportunities with um, our marketing budget and uh, major influencers uh, going out and talking about these utilities. Um, also the legacy NFT, uh, maybe sprinkled in with some arc light <laughs> at some point, um, but we're not there yet. So um, yeah, that's about it on the update side. Uh, just lots going on behind the scene for the privacy products as well and work being done, content development for, for Terra, for our client and all of those things. So as we're working on, we're super swamped, busy, but having fun. That's right, sir. Big day. <laughs> Great news. And yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, wanting to tap into uh, a new crowd and uh, get them in through the door using those products. Uh, that is uh, definitely a great way to to get exposure. Uh, as we we have a fantastic ROI DAP, uh, we have the foundation, we have legacy NFTs. There there's so many ways to earn, and uh, people can make their decisions as as to uh, which of the products uh, they came in for, but also which do they want to ad adopt and and really bring into their their everyday uh, you know sort of uh, package of things that we use. So. I think as we keep expanding and we keep growing, uh, getting folks in through the utility, uh, there's there's definitely a great opportunity for those folks to to you know become a part of this community and uh, want to learn. Uh, we've always uh, been wanting to educate folks. Now we have a new mantra here: if you want to, you know, earn more, you got to learn more. And uh, there's definitely a, a lot of opportunity for folks to diversify a bit. And, and get involved. A lot of people have never heard of an ROI DAP. So we, uh, we uh, want to get them through the door with something that's important for them that they could use every day. And then, you know, they can see a, a great community here. They could see that we have a fantastic track record of customer service, of being out here every single day, doing our podcasts, uploading it over to YouTube. And it's really important that as a community, we, we start to understand uh, that, with a new crowd comes new responsibility and, and very important to have a very optimistic uh, attitude uh, to receive them with open arms, to put on the white gloves. Uh, of course, we have our, our, our very own coach and admin and staff, but it, it goes beyond that. As folks are doing their due diligence, if they're going to be loading thousands of dollars onto these cards, uh, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars into this card that come and support the ILC, support the legacy NFTs, uh, we we want to make sure that everyone understands how vital it is to show our best. Uh, we know that uh, the project uh, Arc Fight Token is not doing well. Uh, folks have you know literally just turned their backs, you know, picked up the ball, you know, went home. Some just uh, crossed the street to another project, aka a casino. I mean, whatever it might be. And uh, unfortunately, we we have to respect everyone's uh, way of of moving you know, forward. Uh, we've seen great support from uh, community leaders here who are continuing uh, to, to bring investors. Uh, but it, it, it takes more than a, than a handful. It takes more than a dozen. It takes really a whole shift in, in the consciousness and the narrative of, of every investor that's here in the, pro in the project. Uh, because at the end of the day, they're earning every single day. They're, they're earning less than what they used to, but they're still earning. Uh, and the way these systems work, it's not a secret. Uh, it is community driven. It's a referral based system. We have to, you know, be realistic and, and we have to be honest with ourselves and want honest with each other uh, in understanding that. So until people, you know, contribute, until folks get involved, uh, they're, you know, and, 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 you know, I think also handle themselves and carry themselves in here with a, a positive attitude. Uh, we have to be mindful of that. And anyone who's, who's not with that, then I, I think they, they should, you know, just refrain from participating as we understand that having a business, having products, having customers walk in through the door on a daily basis, spending capital to get those, uh, you know, users into the protocol to use these products that benefit us all 
uh, we, we need to understand that we have to hold ourselves to a high standard and hold everyone else around us to standing shoulder to shoulder as well to a high standard. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know what happens. People will come in, uh, they'll see a negative community, they'll see toxicity, and they'll, they'll think this is a joke. So uh, we're not going to allow that to happen. We need to be smart. We need to be effective. We need to be positive. We need to be gracious. We need to be empathetic. And uh, we also need to respect those that come and, and not shove products down their throat uh, just because they're here and, and you might want to pump your bags. Uh, please, you know, think twice and, 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 you know, every action, everything you write, understand that it's being watched as part of due diligence. I saw some uh, messages happening today. Uh, uh, in DMs, actually, wasn't here publicly, thank thankfully. But uh, yeah, there was someone that made a comment that was forwarded to me, and and, and I didn't like the spirit of it. Uh, we we need to be patient, folks, and we need to understand that we've always had a plan for utility. We've always had a plan to be here on a multi-year strategy, understanding that things don't happen overnight, and unless everyone contributes every single day, it's, it's you know it's easy to do it in the beginning, um, but the reality is, we, we've all witnessed this, witnessed this together, is that some folks just have a strategy of getting in very early, getting everything they can, can as fast as possible, and absolutely doing nothing to contribute to the growth. So a very short mindset that we hope and believe that with a new audience of, of real-world investors, not the quote-unquote degens, that we're going to have a different sentiment, that we're going to have a different type of investor that's actually going to value passive income, that's not going to betray uh, for $50, <laughs> you know, that, that they could, you know, quote, unquote, you know, take out of the foundation, which is what happened. It, it was very sad and, and, in my opinion, very, very weak and ugly. But uh, unfortunately, that's what unfolded and that's what happened. So with a new crowd, we believe that they'll think twice and they'll say, hey, I'm, I'm here. I signed up. I was told this is the multi-year things. I, I was told there's no guarantees. I was told there's risk, uh, but there's also with that a lot of opportunity. So if we plant those seeds and we're able to welcome these folks that are coming as customers, we could convert them into investors for the benefit. And if they're just gonna stay a customer, let that be. Maybe in time, becoming a part of the community, uh, understanding, hey, what's the spark prize that they do every day? Wait, $300? <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. Uh, you got to understand the mindset of a lot of these people and uh, be ready to to receive them. And and there's going to be, obviously, that exposure that's happening. Um, we don't want to create a different telegram group uh, just for the banking products and, and the utilities uh, because that would be counterproductive to what we've built, our ROI DAP, the fantastic mobile application. Uh, we're not abandoning it. We're not turning our back. We're, we're adding, we're bringing value, we're bringing utility, what we've always said. Uh, if you look at a roadmap, it's very clear, crystal clear, if you ask me. So uh, with that comes an, an understanding of what our objective is and how we need to move forward. So, so thank you for hearing me add on that. I hope that everyone here takes it to heart uh, if you're if you're seeing people that are uh, just being negative, Nancy's, uh, please do you know report them to an admin, and we will step in and uh, speak with that person and have this conversation. Not everyone listens to the podcast. Uh, obviously, give people a chance to understand uh, what our prime directive is here. That we have a business that we're spending marketing dollars. That this is all in support of even their investment, it, even though they're sitting on their hands, dragging their feet, and not wanting to contribute, it is in their best interest to stay calm, uh, cool, collected. And if they can't control their emotions, then just, just you know, kick rocks. Go, up, go out the door and let us do what we have to do here as a community, as a development team, as a project. So with that, uh, we're going to turn it over to our good friend, Mistletoad. What do you got cooking for us, my friend? Hello, hello. We got uh, another day, another shorts contest here on the Ark. Uh, another batch of three shorts. And I do want to say a shout out. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Crypto Musa. It is his first ever video I saw posted on his YouTube channel. First ever shorts. 
and he's entered into the contest. Um, so we got some new competitions, new competitors arising. Um, this is the ARC Shorts contest. Maybe some of you haven't heard about it yet. It's a new contest here on the ARC. It's open to everyone that wants to get involved. As, we, as I just said, it, if you want to start a brand new channel, you've never created a YouTube video in your life before, this is your time to shine and, and, and uh, create some content here for the ARC. Uh, it's very easy to get involved. Basically, all you need to do is create any sort of short, tor short form content regarding ARC, you know, any of the uh, roadmap products, your thoughts and feelings about the ARC, your experiences, anything regarding the ARC, even, even use some crazy AI imagery. There's a lot of fun you can have and, and get creative with it. Um, it's very easy to get involved once you've created any of those shorts, whether it be a TikTok, YouTube short, uh, Twitch short, I found out, Facebook reel, uh, all of the platforms, threads now, Twitter. Once you create any of those short form contents and post it on one of those platforms, uh, submit it to either myself, Coach Brad, or directly into the sweep widget, and uh, you'll be eligible to win some free ARC. Every day, once we get up to three, once we get up to three videos submitted, we are going to have a vote off here by the community where we'll post three shorts. We'll show them off here in the podcast and uh, create a poll. And so basically the community will have up to 24 hours to go vote on their favorite ARC short of the day. And the person has the most votes voted for by the community will win the prize of ARC best short of the day. They'll win <clears throat> $50 worth of ARC as well as be featured on all of our socials, on the sweep widget, and uh, on the ARC official YouTube channel. So that's that's uh, one way to win. Uh, also, there's a lot more prizes to be, to be won. Basically, how it's going to work is for uh, round two, anyone that wins best ARC short of the day is going to move to a second round, where once we get seven winners, we are going to do a best ARC short of the week voted for by the community once again, where once we get seven winners, we're going to put them all into a poll, and the community is also going to vote over 24 hours for their favorite short out of all the winners. That winner, as we just had last week from AJ Metz, Amanda, congratulations there. That winner is going to win $100 worth of ARC. And it keeps getting better. All the four winners of the week, at the end of the month, we're going to have a head-to-head -head draw, or sorry, a head-to-head -head vote off again by the community for the best ARC short of the month. And the person that wins that voted for the by the community is going to win $500 worth of ARC. And it keeps getting better. The person that has the most amount of views across all the different platforms, that be TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, Twitter, any of the f different platforms, the person that has the most views is going to win another whopping prize of $500 worth of ARC. And it doesn't stop there. Even if you're a new content creator, you think, oh, I can't compete with some of these guys with these huge followings or these guys that have been making videos for years on years. Don't be discouraged. If this is your first time, just like Crypto Musa, he's stepped out of the ring and created his first ARC short, definitely enter because even if you don't win any of the best short of the day, the week, the month prizes, you are, anytime you submit a link, and even if you make one piece of content and submit it across all the different platforms, each one of those links is going to get you an entry onto the wheel of the toad where the end of the month, we are going to spin five prizes of $100 worth of ARC each. So if you just create a 10 second, 30 second video on ARC, you know, talking about what you love about ARC or just something about the roadmap, the air card, the tarot card, RG, anything like that, you could win some serious money. And not only that, even if you don't win, you never know what could happen with your shorts. You could... Even like a month from now, the algorithm could pick up from now. You've got your referral link in there and boom, next thing you know, you have an extra 10, 20, even 50, maybe 100 referrals. So the possibilities are endless to join, win some free ARC on the way and start your YouTube career. So yeah, that is the little brief explanation of the shorts contest. Let's move it over to you, Atlas, and show the three shorts of the day where we'll be able to get to vote on them right after. All you right. have those shorts rolled up. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Give me a quick moment, my friend. This one, this one. There it is. We have them ready to go. Let's see if, if you can actually see them. When we uh, go ahead and bring them up here in the studio. And there, there, we, go. there we go. Let's go. Cool. Okay. So first one here, we got Crypto Musa. This is his first ever 
short. This is his first ever post on his YouTube channel. Uh, so congrats, big ups to you. Congratulations on taking that leap of faith and getting out there to create some art content. Big shout out and let's watch his short. We don't hear any sound. Yeah, hold on a second. I got to do a slight change here. My apologies. Let's put that in the right place. And uh, let's refresh it so we can hear everything right from the beginning. Are you ready to discover the future of cryptocurrency? Join us on a journey to explore ARK Finance, the cutting-edge platform that is revolutionizing the industry. ARK Finance is more than just a cryptocurrency platform. It's a revolutionary financial technology that can help you achieve your financial goals. With ARK Finance, you can enjoy fast and secure transactions that are processed in real time. The decentralized network of ARK Finance ensures that your transactions are safe and secure and that your personal information is protected. ARC Finance offers a user-friendly interface that is easy to navigate, even for beginners. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. Join ARC Finance today and start your journey towards financial freedom. Let's go. Amazing work, Crypto Musa. Good job. Uh, next up, we got Coin Builders TV. These guys are on a roll. They're they're always creating the, the art content here, doing an amazing job with the shorts. And uh, let's see what they got in store for today. Welcome to our YouTube short on the infrastructure and ARKG of the ARK ecosystem. Today, we're diving into the exciting developments happening in the world of cryptocurrency. ARK is building a robust infrastructure to support the growing needs of the crypto community. They're creating utilities and services that provide a seamless experience for users while generating revenue. They're simplifying crypto payments with on-ramp and off-ramp solutions. Enter the world of cryptocurrencies with just your email address and a credit or debit card. Make crypto payments with virtual prepaid cards and physical debit cards. Link them to popular payment platforms like Apple Pay and Google Pay. But that's not all. Introducing ARKG, the on-chain gold token. Have gold on chain, fully backed and publicly traceable. Use RKG and Polygon ZKVM. Fees generated contribute to the growth of the ARK ecosystem. Experience a new era of crypto infrastructure and unlock the potential of RKG within the ARK ecosystem. Welcome to our YouTube short on the infrastructure. Let's go. I don't know where they get all the uh, imagery. That was, good. that was excellent. Right? <laughs> it was powerful, man. I like the upbeat, the fast nature of it, like right to the point. I mean, very engaging, very entertaining. And uh, wow, so professional. Let's go. They do an amazing job. All right. And who is next here? This is next TikTok. up. We got Selectomatic. He's another new uh, content creator here on the article. He actually won uh, for his first ever video he posted the other day there, and uh, this is his second entry. So shout out to you, Selectomatic, and let's take a look at what he's got in store. All right, that does not seem to be moving. Let me try to refresh it. Maybe that's the way to get it going hi there if you haven't already heard arcfi has just released their crypto on and off ramp services at bank.arcfi.io which allows you to buy crypto using the on ramp and spend your crypto using the virtual air card along with the soon to be released terra card which comes with standard debit card features such as atm withdrawal and bill pay but this is just the beginning in the coming months, ArcFi will migrate to Polygon ZKEVM, Layer 2 blockchain, where using the principle of zero knowledge will allow it to release a whole host of products designed to protect you and your data. These will include decentralized VPN, cloud storage, password management and an encrypted email service. In a world of powerful quantum computers and AI, the launch of these soon-to-be vital services will enable ArcFi to gain a significant market share. 
and perhaps the best thing of all, you, is an ARC Phi investor can benefit. 66% of the income generated from all of these products will flow into the NFT rewards pool and the ARC Vault's liquidity controller, helping support the ARC Phi token. As our very own coach Brad would say, it's a no-brainer. But don't take our word for it. Come and explore our Discord and Telegram groups, where our friendly community can answer any of your questions, and join us on the ArcFi Daily Podcast. Hope to see you there. A no-brainer. Hey, just a comment there. Um, if you post a video on YouTube that's longer than one minute, it doesn't it won't the algorithm is looking for videos that are less than one minute so maximum 59 seconds and then it qualifies it 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 loads it as a short otherwise it's just a norm it's just a normal youtube video just fyi but yeah that was awesome that was a TikTok actually i i just recently learned you can do more than a minute on TikTok. yeah the different platforms have different uh parameters but for youtube it's got to be less than yeah. 15 minutes seconds for us. I did one that was exactly a minute, and it didn't qual- it didn't load as a short. It was just right. Like, That's yeah. annoying. Yeah, trim out a second. Yes, I had to re-render it. But yeah, that's uh, all of our shorts for today. If you're wondering how to vote, it is shared in the main chat, but it's also pinned in the contest and giveaway. If you missed any of those shorts, you can go rewatch them. They're all posted live in the in the Telegram here, and uh, yeah, go vote for your favorite one. And thank you, everyone that participates and all the people that make amazing videos. You guys are awesome. Yeah, and I'd also like to add that uh, it's great to to see this, to vote on it, to have a chance to win and support these content creators. But I don't want folks to miss the real opportunity. And it, it is sharing that in your groups, in your communities. This is not asking folks, hey, you have to come invest and buy ArcFi. This is saying hey, use these products. These are all folks that are dealing with crypto every single day. It's important for them to see the roadmap, for them to use the utilities, because what does it do? It brings the revenue right back here. So these utilities are project agnostic. Uh, It is not forcing anyone to invest. It's asking them to become a customer, a client, and use the utilities. It is very bullish for the project in every angle, every way you look at it. If somebody says, why are you posting this crap here? It's like, what do you mean? Take a look at this. Have you tried the card? I have. It's fantastic. Uh, Do not, folks, sit on your hands. Do not drag your feet. This is quality top content. If you want a shift in the narrative, if you want this project to regain traction, it's up to every single person to make an effort. And I know every person in here is in at least 10 other groups. If there's anyone that's not in 10 other groups, please raise your hand and let me know. I'd like to be proven wrong. Uh, And ask yourself, look in the mirror, am I posting this content? Am I helping to get user adoption of the utilities so the funds can come back here? So we can, you know, grow the community? So please, pretty please, sugar on top, folks, push these shorts. It is extremely important if you want to see the revenue, if you want to see the shift, if you want to see people get involved, if you want to see people want to get involved in the ROI debt, if you want to see people get involved in the legacy NFT so we can also continue to see great returns. It all ties in together. But we can't do the work for you. We cannot, you know, get inside your head or your account and 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 get you all to contribute. It's very easy to say, hey, where's revenue? Hey, where's, you know, the buys? When every single person is not doing something about it. So thank you for that, Mistletoad. It's time for the wheel. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And also, just to add on that, too, I I noticed kind of uh, the theme on those shorts today. No one really showed their face. They they didn't, you know, use their their real voice or anything. They they took advantage of all the technology that's out of it, especially the AI tech. Like, it's it's been getting pretty crazy, the stuff you can do with that. 
and all of them they just use some some imagery off the internet some ai voices and they put together a cool little short you don't have, if you're a little bit shy to you know put yourself out there there's a lot of tools where you can just make the the machines create the content for you so uh yeah big Absolutely. shout out to all of you guys that are that are putting the work crypto muso selectomatic big ups to you guys coin coin builders tv you guys are doing an amazing job um if you ever need some help definitely reach out to the community and myself um crypto muso any of these guys that we've been seeing on the shorts contest they'll definitely be willing to help out and get you started on your, your content creation journey because it is a lot of fun and i i gotta get myself out there too and, and get going with these tiktoks and stuff like that i need to make some and shorts myself that, that won't it don't have to but you could take that that video you could create uh some text and you could put your link and earn five dollars uh for every mm -hmm. year you I mean, it has an affiliate program. I think people are honestly sleeping on this. They're, oh, they're not understanding the potential. Um, I think maybe they're stuck in the mindset of like, oh, well, I'm promoting ARC and, you know, the price is going down. This has nothing to do with that. Absolutely zero. This is a product. And I'm not sure people understand what this team has been able to build here. What team has delivered utilities that bring revenue that have affiliate programs where you can cash in every single day, seven days a week. You came here for passive income. We're putting it in your hands and it all ties in together. So we, we, we need to highlight that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to be, uh, aggressive or, or I'm not sure if that's the right word, but, but, but folks, we, we, we need to wake up. We need to understand the tools that have been put into your hands, how that comes and benefits everything. And if you don't want to do a video, if you don't want to take the time as these great content creators are doing, that's okay. You can contribute by spreading the word. Uh, you don't want to do it for free just to help the project. That's fine. There's an affiliate link. You go into the air card on the left hand bottom. It says, create my referral link. You copy that, you paste it into a post, you grab any of these shorts or you can pick one, you know, from, from the library that's in our official YouTube, which also helps the channel. I mean, there's so many ways to do it. So I'm giving you some, some quick, easy pointers so that you can contribute. And while you do that, you can earn. All right. Without further ado, do you want to tell us <clears throat> maybe it's somebody's first time here? How do they get involved? What do they win? What's this wheel about? I was just going to say, that's the perfect pivot. Even if you don't want to create any videos, you know, you don't want to go out there, put your face out, you know, I don't know get, get yourself out there in the community. All you need to do is come to the sweep widget. You can get paid to actually go like these, like these videos, share these videos. It's very easy to get involved. If your name isn't on here, you really should be getting involved with the community. It's a chance to win some free crypto every single day. And even if you don't win, you're, you're doing your part. You're helping share the, all the videos. You're liking them, pushing them with the algorithm and kind of doing your part for the community. Um, maybe this, maybe you don't know what is going on with this wheel. It's your first time here and you're wondering, well, okay, I'm not on this wheel, but how do I get on? Uh, it's very simple. Every single day after the podcast here, live in the Telegram, we repost a new sweep widget link. It's posted in the main chat. It's posted in the announcements channel in TikTok, or sorry, in Twitter, Discord, in the shorts contest and giveaway topic. It's very easy to find. If you can never find it, we'll always repost it for you. you just gotta ask. Um, once you find that short, once you find that sweep widget link, all you have to do is click on there. You're gonna be redirected to a website. It's gonna give you a bunch of tasks. Those rate, those are tasks gonna range from liking and commenting some YouTube videos, clapping up medium articles. Uh, retweeting Twitter links, or even just visiting a website. It's very easy to get involved, and it really does help push the algorithm for everyone here on board the ARC, all the content creators, all the investors. And like I said, even if you don't win, you're helping everyone on the you're helping everyone on board the ARC and helping the community. It's very easy to win, though. It really only takes a few minutes of your time, and as you can see, there's only about 30 to 40 people on this list, so the odds are pretty good in actually winning. And once you go through all of those lists, you do all those tasks, clap up all the Medium articles, like all the YouTube videos, uh, your name is going to pop up on this lovely wheel right here where every single day we spin it here live on the on the pod. And if we look, land on your lucky name, you're actually going to be paid for your work in liking those videos, and you are going to win $50 worth of ARC. So it's a very easy opportunity to not only get involved in the community, but also win some free ARC. 
And I know everyone loves free ARC. So please get involved. It really only takes a couple minutes. I know everyone that is on this wheel, they do it pretty much religiously every single day. And I'm sure you can ask all of them. It, it only takes a couple minutes. All the people that won, coin builders, they all say in their groups, like, guys, this takes two to five minutes of time and you could win $50. There's not many places where you could win $50 for doing a couple minutes of time. And the odds are pretty good. So I, I'd really encourage everyone to get in here and, and definitely join the community and help spread the word. So yeah, that's the all aboard giveaway. Get involved. But without further ado, let's find our winner for today and let's spin that wheel. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations, Jacoby. You have won $50 worth of ARC. Thank you, everyone that participates. And again, congratulations, Jacoby. Wow, well, lucky winner tonight. All right, folks, it is that special time for the Sparky. Do you think, uh, Mr. Toe, we're going to have a live winner here today for the Spark? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's definitely, I think, an OG's lucky day tonight. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Big, he, he hasn't won uh, yet the Sparky. He's very hopeful. Or me, uh, Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. <laughs> there he goes. He's ready for the Sparky Sparky. Uh, that's right. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up the, the Sparky. One quick moment. Got to get this, uh, realizing every time uh, I close the window, I have to come in and do it again. But it's just a couple seconds so that we can all see the Sparky here live. We already know who the MVP is for today. 10% of the pot going right to the MVP, folks. We're at uh, 798.30 arc. That's a street value of 243 dollars and 35 cents so without further ado let's sit back wish everyone great luck coach mistletoe do you want to tell these folks how do they qualify maybe it's somebody's first time and they want a, a chance to win this type of money every single day here on the arc of course it's very easy to get involved into the spark giveaway it's like the daily lotto and it's almost like you you, you pay for it once and you never have to pay for it again you get entered every single day uh, the easiest way, I would say, get that lottery ticket for the daily chance is simply hold a legacy NFT. If you don't hold one yet, you can simply go purchase one straight out for 1,000 BUSD, get that silver NFT. Not only can you boost up your CWR to 2.5, you get entered into the secret DAO, get a DAO vote, you get level three referral rewards, even get a, a portion of all that external revenue, but you also get entered into the daily spark draw. So if you hold one of those, you're entered for the daily spark draw for life. You can win as many times as the system will let you, as lucky as you are. Uh, that's the first way. The second way would be simply saving up towards the legacy NFT. Um, if anyone's not familiar, we have the legacy savings account. It's basically a savings account that you can save up for that legacy NFT. But once you have $250 saved up towards that legacy NFT, you will not only qualify for the Spark Award, but you'll also get level one referred. So that's one way, that's the second way to get entered into the Spark Reward. The third, the most OG way, I think everyone is most familiar with, is simply hold $250 worth of bond. And all you need to do is to get bond is simply go to the foundation tab in the DAP and purchase the $250 worth of bond. Uh, once you have that, you'll be eligible into the Spark and also have level one referral rewards. Um, if you've been into the bond for a little bit now, make sure you top up. Price has kind of gone down a little bit, so make sure you add to that, get into that Spark reward. Um, easiest way to also make sure you you know you're, you're entered is if you actually go just to the home page, you can actually see right above the list of the winners, the nice green text right there, it'll confirm you are eligible into the Spark. So if you're ever unsure, just click on that homepage, connect your wallet, and you can verify. But yeah, those are the three ways to get involved. And good luck, everyone. I hope we have a live winner here on the pod. Nearly 800 art tonight. Let's go.
Alice, do you have any tunes for us tonight? Yes, we do. Give me a quick moment. Let's go. Here. Really is, we were muted over here. So uh, let's go ahead and see who the winner is going to be of the spark. Baby, I'm a gangster too. And it takes two to tango. You don't want to mess with me, mess with me. Baby, I'm a gangster too. <laughs> Maybe I'm a gangster too. Maybe I'm a gangster too. Let's get this crypto. On my knees in the night, said, Baby, I'm a gangster too. Uh, let's get this crypto. Bang. Let's get this crypto. Baby, I'm a gangster too. It takes two to tango. You don't wanna mess with me, mess with me. Baby, I'm a gangster too. Let's get this crypto. Baby, I'm a gangster too. Baby, I'm a gangster too. folks and there we have it we have today's lucky spark prize winners the winner for today their wallet ends in 455d to take it into the vault that nitro boost of 719.68 arc a street value of 220 dollars and 45 cents and they've won twice <laughs> the nitro boost here on the spark <laughs> Let's go. NDV through the roof, 2% all day, every day. And, of course, our MVP taking in 10% of the pot. Their wallet ends in A342. And they've taken a Nitro Boost of 79.96. Art, folks, absolutely fantastic. And that, folks, brings us to the DeFi sessions here on the ARC it wouldn't be a podcast without our very own crypto DeFi expert, Mr. Z. What a day today, history being made all across the globe when it comes to cryptocurrency, the legality, all the heinous debacle that's unfolded in the courts has come to an end. And of course, the win for the XRP crew, the family. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Happy days. Hope everyone's having a good uh, Thursday, a day after hump day. And um, I've had to kind of change the title uh, of my chart a little bit. So we had this range as sort of the Coinbase and Binance sort of levels, uh, 25.9K. And uh, after today, I've had to change 
right? From BlackRock ETF to BlackRock BlackRock slash XRP. Um, so so t- today like um, will be a day that gets uh, marked around the world. Um, it will be a day that's renowned around the world as a day that um, that the securities argument kind of goes away because um, it's been it's been a couple of years and, and I think a lot of you know about the XRP sort of issue. So before I get into that, like the, the first thing you got to see is 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 how we took out higher highs. Even if we're in a bullish move, uh, as in short term, realize that, uh, that 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 profits get taken. Um, uh, XRP's case, uh, an ETF, or any of these fundamental news uh, do not, um, you can say, um, uh, hinder the trader from taking their profits. The successful ones, especially. Uh, so, everyone's the last time. If you are in any sort of profits, do take uh, pay yourself up here. Uh, cause, cause from here it does go downhill. Like the last time we sort of hit a high, um, we basically take out lows and then we go, we go lower. So if we take a higher high out, um, look to, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that's one thing right now, um, especially after what's happened with XRP, I'm sure a lot of people are celebrating. Just, just make sure that you guys take profits as you celebrate. Um, but let's get into the news now. This is, this is huge stuff. So, um, before I get into it, uh, this so uh, we, uh, Cameron Winkle, Winklevoss, the guy who sort of like runs Gemini with his twin brother, um, uh, uh, FTX, uh, uh, like what's his Gemini have also been through a, a securities breach, um, you can say issue with with the SEC. So, so he was the very first person to tweet this out. This this thing, wow, it got tweeted at five forty nine p.m. Uh, sort of EST time, and and it got two point two million views. Um, so, so I'm going to kind of read this through and, uh, and then we'll start to look into the article a little bit. But so, so this is the, uh, the, the, the legality side of what the, what the judge had to say about the sale of, of XRP, uh, tokens. Having considered the economic reality of the prog- uh, programmatic, um, sales, the court concludes that the undisputed record does not establish the third Howey prong. So, so, so we, we talked about how the Howey test, um, sort of a test done over, over the seed of investors that, that, that put money into a stock or into an ICO. Um, so, 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 so the whole, uh, he, uh, the issue was, uh, the cryptocurrencies, uh, would fail the Howey test because they're just, they're, they're a different type of mechanism uh, compared to how uh, seed rounds are done in crypto. Uh, so, so whereas the institutional buyers reasonably a- expected that XRP would use the capital to receive from its sales to improve the XRP ecosystem, therefore increase the price of XRP. Um, third, pro- programmatic buyers would not reasonably expect the same. Indeed, Ripple programma- uh, uh, programmatic sales were blind bid ask transactions, and programmatic um, buyers could have known. Could not have known if their payments of money went to Ripple or any other seller of XRP. Um, so, so, so when, when a Howey test is done, um, sort of you have a you can say a seed of investors, and you know, um, yeah, like like the, their expectations is to see uh, a, an arbitrage of an opportunity uh, most of the time. So, so the, the judge here says that uh, as for you know you had institutional buyers that that, that bought into XRP. And and they they must have known it's an arbitrage opportunity, knowing that their XRP is being spent in ecosystems. Uh, the, the the argument is the, uh, the 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 retail buyer would not have known of their payments uh, of money uh, if the money went to Ripple or any other seller of XRP. So therefore, the vast majority of individuals who purchased XRP <clears throat> from digital exchanges. Did uh, uh, did not invest their money in Ripple at all. At institutional, uh, an institutional buyer knowingly purchased XRP directly from XRP uh, Ripple's pursuant to a contract. But the economic reality is that a programmatic uh, uh, buyer stood in the same shoes as a secondary market purchaser, who did not know to whom or what it was paying its money. So, so that's the that, that's the first uh, sort of. You can say uh, argument. Um, you can say that's that's been concluded there, where where the, where there is a a, a two tier buyer. This is why how we test would not be the uh, would not work in, in 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 sort of crypto. So so that's the first thing. Then then you had tweets out from uh, from, from from the CEO uh, Brad uh, Garlinhouse. 
And uh, let, let me go to the previous tweet before I go into that one. So, so this was his first tweet today. He goes, the most important part of this ruling, XRP is a digital token, is not in and or of itself a contract, transaction, or scheme. That embodies the Howey, Howey requirements of an investment contract. This is now a matter of law, not, not up for trial. So that's, that's the first tweet that he put out. And, uh, and then this is his sort of like, I told you so type tweet, right? So he goes, we said in December 2020 that we were on the right side of the law and we'll be on the right side of history. Thankful, thankful to everyone who helped us to get to today's decision. One that is for all crypto innovations in the U.S. More to come. Um, so, so, so yeah, like, like, like this, this brings. Up, so yeah, that's 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 uh, a really cool sort of uh, ruling. That uh, I mean, we we had this date. Uh, I think we mentioned this a few times that mid July uh, would be the point when we get a decision from from, from the judge. Um, so I'm going to kind of read up a little bit here and then we'll talk about it. So it's so a Ripple uh, lab scored a victory in the United States District uh, Court in the Southern District of, of New York on July the 13th as Judge Annalisa Torres uh, ruled in favor of the company in a case brought forth by the Security and Exchange Commission back uh, dating back to 2020. According to the documents filed on July the 13th, Judge Torres has granted summary judgment in favor of uh, Ripple Labs, allowing that the XRP token is not a security. Uh, the SEC lawsuit sought to compel Ripple to stop offering its XRP tokens under the premise that XRP was a security and thus required additional regulation. Uh, so defendant motion for a summary judgment is granted as to the programmatic sales, the other distribution and Larson and Garlinghouse sales and denied as to uh, the institutional sales. So this is the judgment. The case against Ripple has been ongoing since December 2020 when the SEC sued Ripple and its two chief execs. So yeah, so so, so Brad Garlinghouse and uh, and and Chris Larson they they both uh, were separately uh, uh, sort of sued by the SEC. Um, and yeah, so so it's been a, a long battle over the the past three years. The case has had its fair share of dramatic intrigue, including the so so yeah. I mean like uh, like I I got to give kudos to, to XRP. They they could have settled early on. And that could have changed the facet of how uh, crypto assets would have been sort of looked at, um, even though it doesn't pass the Howey test, even though those things in law, um, even the most ridiculous things uh, seem uh, official. Uh, but fortunately for XRP, XRP, like I would say, uh, lost a lot. Like like in the in the last three three and a half years, I think they they sort of ran under uh, under half a billion dollars in uh, in legal sort of uh, in endeavors. And and then the other uh, thing that if uh, that XRP makes uh, makes a case of a case of is like they weren't able to grow. Uh, once they had the sanctions put in, Ethereum surpassed them. They, they they were looking to to create their own ecosystem, their own payment gateway, and a bunch of different uh, sort of developments. And and because of Ethereum, Ethereum um, I can hear I myself. Can, can someone just mute uh, the mic, please? Um, cool. I'm gonna try again. Uh, so yeah, um, n- n- now it's uh, not n- 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 Ethereum is is one token that sort of surpassed uh, in its ecosystem of development. Now we've had you know it moved away from proof of work to proof of stake. We've had Ethereum Foundation launch. Uh, so so that's what uh, 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 Brad Garlinghouse's argument is. He, he goes, not just did you guys cost us so much in legal fee, uh, you made us uh, sort of lose out to uh, our competitive advantage. We were looking to build an ecosystem. Um, so along the palpable movement uh, demonstrated by XRP token pumping on the news, the overall sentiment across cryptocurrency appearance, apparently to be one of jubilation. So, so yeah, like um, uh, uh, things have been bullish, especially today. Um, uh, XR, uh, no, no, no. XR. We'll look into XRP price. That, that's that's pretty interesting as well. So, 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 so Bitcoin uh, touched thirty one five hundred today, and uh, and. Yeah, so, so that's one thing. That's one bullish move. Ethereum went to 1977. So it went back to its higher highs. And uh, and we see if it sort of taps into this area here before taking out liquidity of 2100. Uh, but yeah, it's at it's 1977. And, uh, and and most, like, like this is, 
like w- w- we don't understand in, in crypto right now this is a big big ju- uh, jubilant moment i mean even a, a token like chainlink has gone from 620 to, to 688 um now if we look at the xrp price check this out right a good bullish candle when was the last time we saw something like this <laughs> so we went from um uh, uh 50 cents right uh, an average of 50 cents and if you did buy some xrp in um and let's say in in November 2022, when the when, when the suits were filed and everything, you would have bought it for 30 cents. And uh, for, for these people that 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 have hodled, they are getting a 3x. And for people that were holding uh, just just last week, uh, before the conclusion of the case, 47 cents to 50 cents. So 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 now the price is at 78 cents. Um, so it's looking bullish. But even even here, guys, like you're looking at you know prices starting to pull back. That's that's people taking profits up here. People, institutes and uh, and, and sort of hodlers taking profits. So 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 always pay yourself. Um, so so that's the ruling, guys. Like congratulations, uh, cryptocurrency is it cannot be classified as a security anymore. And 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 the truth is, this is something that will um, basically also be taken forward into the Binance and Coinbase case that the that the SEC. Um, uh, so, so the SEC sort of accused uh, Coinbase and Binance of selling uh, multiple securities, right? They they mentioned those tokens like Polygon and uh, and and Polkadot and, and other tokens as security. So, so we'll see how that uh, plays into the Coinbase and Binance case. Uh, now, now, not not everything was sort of you can say uh, bullish in in crypto today. Uh, today, uh, former uh, sales, uh, uh, the SEC uh, went uh, hard against uh, uh, f- uh, f- uh, former Celsius CEO Alex uh, Mashinsky. Um, he basically was arrested today as well, and the law, the, the 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 lawsuit was filed. So, uh, so, so this is an, another interesting analogy here that happened. So, the former CEO uh, Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky. Reportedly arrested, the SEC uh, filed a lawsuit against bankrupt crypto lender on July the 13th, followed by news reports about arrests of the former uh, CEO. Um, so yeah, the former C- uh, CEO of now bankrupt crypto lender Celsius, Alex Mashinsky, was reportedly arrested on the morning of July the 13th. The news broke minutes after the United States uh, uh, SEC filed a lawsuit against the crypto lender on the same day. The former CEO was reportedly arrested after a probe into the company's collapse, uh, reported by Bloomberg, citing people familiar with the matter. The, the U.S. Department of Justice indicted uh, Mashinsky on charges of fraud and intention to manipulate the market. Um, and and this is what the uh, the New York uh, sort of um, um, sort of legal preference attorney um, uh, A. G. Uh, James had to say. She goes, "I'm I'm suing the former." This is what she tweeted out in, on the 5th of January. So I'm suing the former CEO of cryptocurrency platform Celsius Network for defrauding investors out of billions of dollars. Alex Mashinsky lied to people about the risk of investing in Celsius, hid its uh, deteriorating financial condition, and failed to register in New York. So the, the pandemic helped Celsius cryptocurrency lending platform uh, gain traction in 2021 during the bull run. Uh, the platform offered attractive interest rates um, uh, on crypto deposits, several of which ran into uh, double digits. Mashinsky often marketed these products as safer substitutes for those provided by conventional banks. Uh, but the, uh, the demise of Terra's algorithmic stablecoin UST and a slump in the cryptocurrency market had terrible effects on the business. The arrest of uh, Mashinsky and the lawsuit against Celsius comes within months of SEC's lawsuit against crypto exchange. Uh, Binance and Coinbase. Now, Salesforce Network didn't immediately respond. So, 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 yeah, that's the um, uh, other side of, of of what's happened today. So, whilst the SEC lost one case, uh, they went uh, against uh, they, they went they went hard against uh, others. So, so yeah, uh, so so he's under arrest now. So we'll uh, sort of keep an eye on this uh, on on this story as well. So that's the uh, Celsius uh, Network story. Uh, now the last story I want to talk about is uh, is uh, is uh, Telegram. Um, so so Telegram uh, wallet bot enabled in-app payment in Bitcoin, USDT, and Ton. Uh, wallet a custodial wallet a bot on Telegram says that the merchants should sort of uh, uh, sort out themselves whether their jurisdiction jurisdictions allow them to accept uh, payments in crypto. 
so this was a question about KY, uh, KYC. So, so yeah, um, uh, currently, uh, uh, like there, there, there are some places that, that can't use the wallet, uh, like Russia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Iran, Egypt, and others, uh, sort of, you can say, uh, red alert areas, but businesses should decide if they are allowed to do business within their jurisdiction before applying to make use of the wallet. Uh, we have had a hundred requests collected by our support team, but we do not start the KYB period procedure with these requests prior to launch. So we don't uh, yet know who will be the first to implement the feature. Um, so, so, so these, uh, so, so this is a bullish time even for, for people at Telegram. So, so this is the first time a, a instant messenger service will allow folks to, 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 to accept payments in crypto, uh, and, and, and also have peer to peer transactions. So you're able to uh, buy and sell cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin uh, and, and use the open network. And you're, you're also able to uh, sort, of, uh, sort of DM <laughs> uh, your friends and family uh, in crypto uh, using the wallet. So, so the new wallet payment service provides crypto payment transactions between users and retail businesses, enabling direct payments within the Telegram interface. So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the bullish news today. Uh, with, with Telegram, so now we have a, uh, a a bot that allows us to pay uh, in between uh, sort of retailers and also be uh, you can say peer to peer. So so we have that now within our uh, instant messenger called Telegram. So yeah, that is um, uh, you can say you know a bunch of news to take out three big headlines in one day. Uh, but yeah, R Ripple is not a security. XRP uh, is not a security. So I hope to see where that goes. And and this is going to be a big one. So I'm going to talk about this uh, another day. But Polygon's proposes upgrade to Matic into a most. So so, so Matic is 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 one uh, sort of token that's that, that's low in liquidity, especially with uh you can say zk uh, EVM and, and and a bunch of other things. So 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 we're gonna we're gonna kind of talk in, into this uh, uh, later on in the week. So I'm going to put that into DeFi links for now. But uh, yeah, that sort of concludes the DeFi session. Thank, Thank you, guys. you guys. A great DeFi session. Historic news has happened today. Thank you for that, Mr. Z. And folks, thank you for coming today to the 255th podcast here on The Arc. We're going to be back tomorrow, same time, 4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. UTC. I'll be wheels up in the air. Uh, Coach Mistletoad and Coach Brad will be manning the comms, uh, running the podcast. I will personally be back on Saturday uh, to conduct business as usual here on the podcast. We will do the Spark Rewards a couple hours before the podcast, and uh, you'll hear who the winner is. You'll also be able to see it directly for yourself as everything here is so transparent on the ARC Right on the homepage of the D app, you'll get to see who the winners are, the MVP, as well as the Spark Rewards winner. We wish you all a fantastic day. Be happy. Be proud to be in crypto. There's uh, been, obviously, a, a lot of pressure on crypto investors. Uh, the issue with XRP uh, has, you know, been a, a situation that has caused, I think, a lot of fear uh, especially from the institutional investors not having the clarity. Clarity. We have the clarity in Europe with MICA, and uh, this will be a catalyst for, you know, defining the laws and 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 really putting the brakes on a lot of the abuse of power interpretations that uh, have been plaguing the whole industry for years now. So we'll. Uh, Finish the, contract, the, the the podcast for today. We're going to go and do some Q&A as we always do. We're going to keep it short tonight. But, folks, thank you all for being here, and we'll see you later.